Welcome to Tech Brothers Damir. Today we are going to learn how to hide unhide columns and shrink the remaining columns in SSRS report by using the parameter values. Now think about a scenario where your report consists of 50 columns and your user are uh, okay to see those 50 columns but sometimes they are asking okay how about if we are uh, if we want to see the compact version of that report, we want to see or hide uh, some columns and see that the compact report. Uh, you want to give them that option by selecting some parameter. So if they will select a detail report, it will show them all the columns. If you, they will select that compact part of that, then they should see few of the columns. So let's go ahead and create that report. And we will be using a, a Boolean type parameter to handle this situation. Now, this is a, the select query I'm going to use. It is returning us a salesperson first name, last name, product name, and all other information. So maybe in this case, uh, first uh, we will display everything, uh, and then uh, when the compact part will come, uh, or where they want to see very few columns, uh, we will uh, just show them the first name, uh, item sold, uh, or sold price, uh, and uh, maybe a product name. So a few of columns will show them maybe three columns or four columns now this is in the sales database open SSD T SQL server data tools and uh, I already have SSRS project uh, so I don't have to create new one if you don't have it you can go to file and create a new project and uh, I have shared data source uh, that's pointing to the sales database uh, and uh, that's great so we can use that uh, shared data source now hit cancel click on the reports uh, add and the new item go to report and uh, give the name so we are going to call this one hide and hide columns add click on the data sources add data source and give the name we call this one d set ds sales and uh, let's uh, use the shared data source here select the sales hit okay now create a data set uh, that will return us the rows uh, or a result so we call this one a D set total sale and uh, this is going to be embedded data set select the data source provide the query here and uh, we are all good now right click here insert a table so you can insert a table matrix whatever you like here and uh, your choice so in our case we are using a table and on which you will be hiding those uh, columns so now bring all those columns here I'm bringing a lot of columns actually so let's uh, that's it probably okay so this is it we have a lot of columns already now let's uh, change the background color for your column header row and preview the report it is loading the data and uh, we'll see the report uh, and it's showing us a lot of uh, columns uh. now one thing uh, what we would like to do by default we want to see all those columns uh, and uh, when they want to see the compact uh, we will hide few of these uh, columns uh. so let's go to design uh, and then uh, create a new parameter you can create a text parameter or you can create a boolean in my case i'm going to go ahead and create a boolean it's easy to work with a boolean in this case as we are handling only two situations we are saying detail or compact so i'm going to call this one detail report view and when it somebody said true then it will be showing them everything and when they said false and then would we'll show them the compact version of that so let's click on the boolean now we don't have to do anything here hit ok and next part uh, we will preview the report uh, this is what we are seeing here detailed report view true click here you will see all those uh, columns uh. right now if I will click on false uh, I will see all those uh, columns as well so the, this uh, parameter is not uh, used as of uh, now now click on the design uh, and let's make use of this uh, parameter click here and go to advanced mode once you are in the advanced uh, the, what you need to do here let me expand this a little I'm trying to make so you I can show you guys so if I click here on the static uh, these uh, see the column is uh, selected so uh, by clicking here I can select uh, 
different uh, columns uh, so if I want to hide uh, the country I, I can click on the last one and then I press F4 I have to come to the visibility and then hidden and here we have oh, false click here go to expressions and use the parameter value come to the parameter double click on the parameter and say is equal to false so when it is false then we want to hide that I'm gonna copy this one we can use the same expression in multiple places and hide so we are all good here let's say we want to hide the city as well press F4 go to properties and let's go to expressions and paste that parameter is equal to false when it is going to be true this will be hidden now we can hide maybe some other columns that's between the columns so in this case we want to hide this salesperson last name so I will click here and then click here so I will see this is the column press F4 and then go to the visibility hidden property and then go to the expressions and I'm gonna put that here so you see that what I did I am trying to hide a few of the columns there on the right side and one of the column that's between other columns so it should not show any gap it should shrink those other columns and put them together in this case the salesperson first name should come right next to the uh, product name and once this will be hidden so there will be no space between them so we are all good let's go to preview and now we see when we hit true it is showing us everything when we hit false now it should show us a few columns and you can see that the sale person first last name is hidden now and the region and country and city those columns are also hidden what we have hided at the end now if I will click true again all the columns are shown and if I will click a false so detailed report view is false it means I want to see the compact part so it will hide the country city and sale person last name so you can see that it's working just fine so this is great when you have a lot of columns and your user uh, instead of uh, copying and pasting the data to the Excel and hiding those uh, columns uh, to see the compact version you can hide uh, these columns here and give them a uh, capability or uh, um, facility uh, so they can hide the columns here and see their reports uh, I have used uh, the boolean type uh, parameter here you could have used the text type and then you will be writing your expressions according to that so thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next video